Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, and today we're going to be making this pretty Christmas card. So let's get started. Our first piece is our base, and this is cut, um, this is soft succulent, and this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of very vanilla. This is gonna be our layering piece. And this is cut at five and a quarter by four. I've already run this through the stamp and cut emboss machine with this really pretty um, music. It's called Merry Melody embossing folder. So I did that already. And then I have a piece of brushed metallics. Now these came out last year in the holiday catalog and they brought them back this year. And you can use any, they're all just various, varying shades of a gold or a bronze and any of them will work in, in this project. So this is cut at five and a quarter by two and five eighths. And then I have a piece of cherry cobbler and this is cut at five and a quarter by two and a half. I've already run this through the stamp and cut emboss machine with this pretty snowflake pattern. This is the wintry embossing folder and it also comes with this um, pine needle one together as a set. So, and these will fit in your um, mini stamp and cut emboss machines if you have that instead of the bigger one or in addition to, some people have both. Um, so we're just going to adhere this piece right onto the brushed metallic. Whoops, there we go. All right, let's move this a little bit. All right, here we go. And then we're just going to, now it's the same length this way or height. Um, and so we're just centering it across so we have the border that looks the same on both of the edges. And that's just a little bit off. So I'm just gonna trim that just a little bit. So it's even on both ends. There we go, that looks better. Okay, well I'm not gonna I'm not going to adhere this quite yet. We're going to be working on this ornament piece right here. And I have another piece of very vanilla. This is just a scrap piece. And the stamp set we're going to be using first is the Bright Bauble set. I think this is just so pretty. And um, it comes with matching dies, of course. And these are really pretty. We're going to be using this one today to cut out the ornament and we're gonna color it. But you could actually, I hope you can see that, that says Joy. So you can do a more intricate design with this. And this one is merry and bright. Let me just show you this quick. And it's hard to see, but in this card, let me just show you. I'll take this out so there's no glare with the plastic. But I just cut out the merry and bright after I put this through the stamp and cut emboss machine because I didn't want the whole ornament. I just wanted the words. So that's a possibility as well with this set. And it does have um, other shapes as well. So let me just flip this over to show you. It's got a beautiful snowflake and then another ornament. A beautiful bow you can use as well. I haven't tried that out yet. And then it does have these little circle pieces which we're gonna use just to cut out this area right here to put some ribbon through or I guess it's twine or metallic twine. I'm not sure what to call it. Let's see. Elegant trim. This is out of the um, annual catalog. It comes with a silver and a gold. We're going to be using the gold. All right, so let me just put this aside. And then we can get started with the stamping. So I'm just going to be using the Memento black, tuxedo black. And we're just gonna ink it up really well. I'm just gonna flip it a little just so I can see and push a little bit better to get it on those spaces. All right, and we're going to just stamp it on here. Give it a good press. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to use the stamp and cut emboss machine and cut this out. All right, hopefully you can see. 
so I'm just going to put the outline, let me just move that piece for a minute, the outline around the ornament, very straightforward. Just nudge it until you get it right where you want it. And then this little piece, this is harder for me to get in, just, but it just goes right in here. Maybe I should have done that piece first because then it's easier to, there we go, I think that looks good. Okay, so we're just gonna run this through very carefully so nothing moves. All right, and then you can see, I just don't wanna lose this little piece here. You can see this ornament popped right out and you've got the little spot there to put the ribbon in. If you don't want to do that, you don't need to use the little piece and you can just do the outline. That works as well. All right, so now we're gonna use our blends, our Stampin' Blends to color this in. So these are the colors I'm using. Um, soft succulent, soft sea foam, dark or light, a soft suede, and dark cherry cobbler. So I'm going to start with the light soft succulent. And I'm I'm just using them as a solid color in the pattern rather than outlining in one color and then coming in with another. I just like the look of that for this particular project. So we're just going to outline here. You can take out your brush tip to color in, but for time's sake, instead of flipping it around, I'm just gonna use this. And then I'm going to start from the bottom with the same color. All right. This is such a pretty ornament, I think. And there's so many different possibilities with you know your blends to color it in all different colors. So the next piece I'm going to be using is the dark soft sea foam. And we're just going to do this band right here. You could use two colors in this band too with the triangles, but I was keeping it simple today. And then we're gonna to come to the bottom and do this band as well. I'm just kind of mirroring the what I'm doing on top to the bottom of the ornament. Next, I took the dark soft succulent and just colored in this band right here. All right, whoops, a little bit over right there, but that's all right. Okay, and then for the center pieces, I used the light um, soft sea foam, and I just colored in the ovals or squiggles here. So this just takes a minute. And I don't know why, I have to turn it to color this one in this way. It's kind of silly, but just the way my brain works. All right, moving right along. This one I'm just trying to be a little more careful because there's no other color coming. I'm leaving that center very vanilla so there's no other color that might come cover up any of my mistakes. Just a couple more. Alrighty. So then the last little touches are the real red, uh, not real red, cherry cobbler in the dark. And I just colored in these circles like this. You could also, I've seen someone put, um, like rhinestones or gemstones in these circles, and that's very pretty as well. And 
And for the top here, I'm just going to use the light soft suede because I think it's as close to gold, you know, as you can get really. And since we're using the gold accents in the card, I thought that would be nice. All right, so that's our coloring. Now we need to do the sentiment. And you know what? I don't see the, um, the piece I cut for the sentiment, so I'm just going to cut a piece here quick. Um, and this I'm going to cut at 7 eighths of an inch. by four inches across for our sentiment. And this we're going to be using the Merry Christmas. Now this is from, let me grab it to show you, the Poinsettia, or Poinsettia petals. And this set has matching dies as well, which we're not using today, but I love the Merry Christmas in this. So I used it quite a bit last year when the set came out and I'm continuing this year with it. So let me grab that. We're gonna ink this up in the soft succulent. That's a little, let's see, I think it's just crooked on the block. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now we can put our card together. So I'm going to bring over the pieces. Now I'm going to take some of this gold twine from the Elegant Trim and you just really need a tiny little piece because it's just going over the top. So I'm going to just thread it through right here just like that and then on here we're just going to put a little bit of adhesive, and I like to use my stamp and seal if I can get it going in the wrong place. There we go. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this too to hold it in place. And I'm just kind of not using the edges just because the um, strip is a little bit thinner, but you really could go out to the edge, I guess. All right, so we're going, that's really sticky. So we're just going to stamp or stick this without sticking it to my grid paper, hopefully, about right here. And then just tuck these right over like that and they'll stick right in your adhesive. So there you go with that. Now this can be adhered right onto our very vanilla piece with the music embossing folder or the Merry Melody, I think it's called. Yes, it is called that. And then this is just going to be centered on right here. And that'll help hold the elegant trim, the gold elegant trim in place as well. We'll put on a little more adhesive. And then this goes directly onto our base, like that. And then for the Merry Christmas, I used dimensionals, but I used them um, right on the ends. So it'll adhere right here. I have ink all over my fingers. What else is new, I guess, right? Okay. There we go, like that. And we're just gonna center this, or do it edge to edge with the um, base piece, the layering piece there. And now we just need to make a little bow with this trim. Oops. Maybe, here we go. Nope, let's just start it over. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to scrap it and start again. This is a little more. There we go. Oh my goodness. All right, so we can just fuss with it. I don't want it that big. That looks good. I'm just going to trim it off here. And we're going to roll up a glue dot to adhere it.
stick that in and then we're just going to stick it right at the top here just like that I hope you can see that I hope that was in frame but it's just stuck right to the top of the ornament so this is the one we made and this is our original with a little fuzzy on it so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your time have a great day